Hello everyone. Hi there. Welcome to another video. With Becky. It's been such a long... That's me. Yeah. It's been such a long time since we've done one of these videos, but... It has. Uh, back by popular demand and, you know, we've had a lot yeah. of things going on in life. Yep. We um, have a kid. Yes, we do. Uh, so... She's sleeping. But yes. That's why we can do the video, right? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, another episode of Panty Droppers, right? The episode where we review five different fragrances and yep. have Becky blind smell them and basically tell us whether or not she thinks that they are a panty dropper or not. Now, of course, a we have some panty dropper. Yeah, we have a little bit of a disclaimer. Obviously, this is all in good fun, guys. This is not, yes. you know, a definitive list or anything like that. And you know, use your charm, use your wit, all that good stuff, right? So and remember, I am just one nose. Yes, that's the other thing. She's just one opinion. Yep. It's all in good fun. Don't take it too seriously. All right, yep. that's it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for the first fragrance, fragrance number one. we're going to go ahead and check out, go ahead and turn your other way, is this guy right here. What is it? So we're going to go ahead and spray this on. Is that an index card? It is an index card. I've run out of scent strips, therefore I will be using index cards. Ooh, I can already smell it. All right, let's go ahead. Okay. Okay, hang on. Right now it's very alcoholic. Mm. Got to let it go out. Huh? I said you always say that about fragrances. Well, it's all I can smell right at the beginning. Mm. I'm sensitive. I'm sensitive to alcohol. Mm. Yeah. What? What? I smell the fragrance. Oh, I guess I still smell it. Alright, so let's go. Put your hand out. Put it on your hand instead. No, no, it's okay. It's coming. It is coming now. It's a little on the floral side. Okay. You know what? For good measure, I'm going to put it on my arm. Okay. I won't know. I saw the bottle, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, actually, what I just it. realized she's not going to know any of the bottles. I, anyway. I don't know what it means. Um, yeah, it's like florally. Very alcoholic right now. It's not alcoholic. Yes, it yes it is. Okay, it's actually better on your skin. Okay. Orange, maybe a little. No. Okay. I don't know, but I just really, I smell like floral, like rose. I don't. Not my favorite. Okay. All right. Uh, so this one is called Bright Neroli from the house of. Uh, Ferrari. Ferrari, yes. The, the car? car? Yes, believe it or not. So this one is Neroli, I believe Orange Blossom as well too. Um, orange. And generally it's kind of a clean scent and, you know, uplifting type thing. Yeah. Uh, now it's not necessarily known, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's not really a panty dropper and it's not necessarily known for that, but a lot of people think that it smells good. Um, now this one actually did make my list of top compliments because I have gotten a good amount of compliments with this scent right here. Have I complimented you? No, not you. Not you. So unfortunately she has not. So Consistency. Yeah. So according to Becky, is this a panty dropper? No. Not no. according to me. Nope. But for other people it would be maybe. Yeah. Um, it's funny, I usually like orange blossom scents, but this one wasn't my favorite. Okay. Now, don't shoot me if it doesn't have orange blossom. I'm pretty sure it does, but I okay. forget. Okay. Anyways, it definitely has an aroli. That's the prime. I don't know what an aroli is. Uh, it, it's 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 a. I think it's a flower. Now this is kind of growing on me. It smells almost jasmine now. But okay. Floral, definitely floral is yeah, yeah. the main note. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. Next one. I'm turning. I'm self turning around. Next one is this one right here. All right. So, this one, we're not going to waste any time. We're just going to apply it to my other hand. And... I can do shadow puppets back here. Let it waft. All right, you can go ahead and turn around. Okay. Mmm. Sweet. Wait, not so sweet. More like leathery and okay. manly. You know, you have to stick your nose <laughs> right up on it. You're like... <laughs> just 
weird, man. <laughs> Whatever. I'll be more just delicate. Take it in, man. <laughs> I am taking it in. Jeez. <laughs> I just don't want to get it confused with the other one. <laughs> I like it. Okay. It's it's like more of like that leathery Okay. Old chair. Interesting. Okay. Vibe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what notes are in it. Okay. But maybe an old wood. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Tell me All about right. it. So this is Reflection Man from the House of Bombage. Uh, this has been around for quite a while and it's been around within the fragrance community and has got a lot of accolade for being a good smelling scent. It is a good smelling scent. Um, scent. Scent. Yeah. So a lot of guys will wear this specifically for like, you know, going out, you know, night out occasions when they're dressed up really well. Um, and this is something that a lot of people swear by. It's been around for quite a long time. It's Amouage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Reflection Man from Amouage. Oh, Reflection Man. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, what notes are in there? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I forget. I'll have the notes on screen for this one, but... Um, for your viewing pleasure. The main reason why I forget is because I find this so close to another one. Remember the bottle that has like a silhouette of a man Yes. On it? Yes. That is Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mans. Yes. This one is... I like that one, I think. Yeah. You like that one. Yeah. Um, this one is like the upscale version of that. Ah. Uh, so this is more yeah. expensive, so you use the other one to... Yeah. Save on money. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a, you know. All right. Good this to one go. gets a this, panty dropper. This one gets, yeah. Reflection Man. I like it. All yeah. right. Yeah. I heard it. Okay. Next one. All right. Next fragrance is this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and take this on. I'm just going to do one spray for this one. That's all we need. Um, audience, please. Pay no attention to my hair. I haven't brushed it All right. in a while. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Now remember, you don't have to go way or do up I? into there. There you go. Maybe I just like being close to you. Maybe you do. No, you're way off. It's over here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just stop. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to smell. I'm starting to smell it. It's um very light. Okay. Wait, light. Yeah. Yeah. So it's lighter. Here. Yeah, I yeah. see it. It's a lighter scent. Okay. It's a little sweet. Okay. Cotton candy y. Okay. Um Yeah, it's sweet. I don't think it's my thing for a panty dropper, but I like it. Okay. I just I don't think I'm gonna give it the panty dropper. Interesting. Here's a cool question. But I like it. Do you think it smells would smell better on a man or a woman? Like is when you smell the scent, is it more a manly scent or more of a womanly scent? Or do you think it can go both ways? I think it can go both ways. Okay. And it just depends on the personality and okay. the occasion. Okay. Um well you're the one that taught me that fragrance is unisex and it's just marketing. Yeah. So it's really um, just your personality and like what you Okay. Want to wear. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure there's caveats. Yeah, yeah. there's always caveats, but. Um, but in general, like I wear yeah. pure malt because I like it, even though that's. Yeah. Made, I guess, for a man. Gotcha. Um, so, panty dropper, yay, nay? No. All right. Sorry. So, so this one is Periolis's Black Vanilla Absolute. Oh, vanilla. I knew it yeah. was sweet. Yeah. So, this one, the reason why I was asking that question is it's. Smells very similar to another one of my scents, Spirito de Bouvigny, that you've smelled before. Mm -hmm. uh, that was like rum and vanilla. Ah. And that one, but you actually guessed more. Guessed more along the lines of like Stephen and Carlos, who initially thought they're like, yeah, this smells like bubble gum, or cotton candy. Cotton candy. Was I think the exact words that they used. Um, but I thought this smelled like Spirito de Bouvigny. So, uh, yeah. Okay, well. Yeah, good, good. Uh, but is unfortunately, it, huh? Is Oud in here? You know, it says, like, these series are based on Oud, oh. but, you know. How I much Oud? They give, like, a much, little yeah, yeah, yeah. flicker. It could be a little flicker, and I mean, the dry down does have a little bit more of an Oudy type of scent, but um. I wouldn't necessarily classify this truly as an Oud fragrance. Okay. So, 
Yeah, the now I mean it's definitely on the sweeter side, the vanilla side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it is nice. I don't it's just not my thing for like I said. Okay. Not my thing for a peanut dropper. But All it right. is nice and if you want a sweeter smelling fragrance, yeah. Um, go for it. Okay. Alright, on to the next one. Okay. Next one that we're gonna do is this one here. So let's go ahead and Get another part of the arm. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh, I can already smell that. Right there. I can already smell that. Yeah, I see it. It's glossy. Okay, now you're drawing on yourself. Yep. See this way, I won't get the alcohol smell. Mm. Oh, that's got. That's got that strong scent scent that I don't like. Strong scent that she doesn't like? Yeah. <laughs> There's that thing in there. Patchouli? Maybe? Is that what it is? I don't know what well, it is. Well, patchouli's kind of a weird one because your favorite scent has patchouli kind of on the in the undercurrent for the whole oh. thing. Okay, well I don't It's definitely something in there that I don't like. And it probably is masking all the other greatness of this. Hmm, interesting. What notes are in here? Um, what, what is it in like... Alright, so the notes of this fragrance are... Uh, it has fruity notes, it has black currant, it has leather, it has uh, cedar, and at least those are the primary notes that I can remember. Well, but those all sound good to me, so I don't know what it is. But there's something right at the top mm -hmm. that I just, I'm not digging. Now, what about pineapple-y? Does it smell pineapple-y? To me, that's always, it smells either apple-y or pineapple-y to me at the top. And that's one of the main things that, there's another scent that I don't think you dubbed a panty dropper, which is Aventus, uh, which a lot of guys like. And this kind of has a resemblance to the top of it. Maybe. Um, Maybe that's it. And Does again, it? it's just whatever. Hmm. I don't know. It's just like this top thing. And I feel like once it goes away, I might really like this scent. Yeah. Does it smell like... Does it remind you in any way of like cleaner? Yeah, maybe a little. Okay. Uh, the only reason I'm saying this, guys, is there... I'm looking for some of the criticisms that I've heard women talk about Aventus specifically and trying to see if there's any commonality see, no, and it's getting... between them. And it's getting better. Okay. Now that whatever was on that top is kind of like okay. going away, now it's smelling better and I like it more. Okay. I'm probably not going to give it a panty dropper. Okay. But I, I actually, it's growing on me and I like because I love cedar. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the other. Okay. That leathery scent. Yeah, like now it's becoming a fragrance I like. Okay. All right, well, set drop wah. Okay. Last one. And the final fragrance we're going to go ahead and touch on today is this fragrance right here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and apply this. And actually, I want to do something real quick here. All right, I went ahead and hit my elbow. Why did you have to hide it? No, I wasn't hiding it. I just wanted to just double check something real quick. Okay. Woo! What is that? I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it is. It's mysterious and I like it. Well, you know what name of Mar? No, no, no. I mean the smell. I can't place the smell. Oh, okay. It smells really familiar, but I can't place it. Okay. Can you smell it? No, I can't smell my elbow from here. Try to touch your elbow. Go ahead and do yeah. it now. You want to get a closer smell? You don't want the people's elbow? <laughs> don't give me the people's elbow. Okay, I honestly cannot tell you what it smells like, but I do like that. Okay, excellent. This is... Oh, uh, I've been Valentino. wondering what this bottle is. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Valentino Uomo. This is the, I believe it's the intense version, and I always want to check these bottles just because I haphazardly use intense, extreme, and all <laughs> these, like, uh, I just hate the way that they use those little, you know, add-ons all the time. But anyways, okay. yeah, this smells like, and I believe you liked the other one that this smells like, and that's Dior Homme Intense. Okay. Which, to me, has a lipsticky type of a vibe to it. Um, and everyone just kind of furrows their brow at it, but I think it works. But what's um, the smell like smelling it? It's not made to smell like lipstick. No, it's not made to smell like lipstick. It's made to smell like... Well, that's actually a good question if it's actually a specific copy of something else. But anyways, notes are on screen. I don't know what the notes are on off the top of my I head like for this though. fragrance, but... Let me get one more whiff of it before I decide. Yeah, I think I'll go with it. I okay. think I'll give it the All right. thumb up. Valentino Momo Intense gets a thumbs up. Yeah. Now, so if we're to pick out just the thumbs up fragrances from this. Yeah. The thumbs up fragrances were, I believe, Reflection Man and yeah. Valentino Momo Intense. These two got penny dropper status. But this one more Go out so. and buy them. Or, oh, this one more so? Is this one more so. Exactly. So... Yeah. I got a lot of shit when I just recently reviewed this. I'm like, why are you reviewing such an old fragrance? Because it's a good one. It's a good fragrance that I had it reviewed. So, yeah. What, you, what is better? The oldest whiskey that you have or the newest one? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the older one. Yeah. Solid fragrance. Anyways. Um, that pretty much concludes our episode. That concludes right. it. And um, I don't know if I will be on another video before the holiday season, which mm -hmm. has already started, actually, but yep. before the new year. So, if not... Happy holidays and a happy new year. Smell wisely. And remember, I am just one opinion on these mm -hmm. fragrances. And a panty dropper is just really a metaphorical thing. But this is all you need. No, just it's this not. No, right here. You need